Hello, it's a uh, titled Art with a Message, and be something else too. Anyway, uh, I thought this was interesting. Art challenges U.S. Civil War story. I would play it, but it's BBC, uh, copyright, you know. Um, but it's just a minute, fourteen seconds. But uh, I only showed it because it says in the. I think it's about in the middle, I can't remember, but it says it's not only, he's doing the art, but he's getting people to question the history and who the creators of the history are, and, and st I'll get into that a bit, in a minute, <laughs> excuse me, uh, and here it says, the artist Mark Bradford, sorry, uh, builds his largest work yet, a civil war, Cyclorama at the Gershon, whatever. Uh, and there he is. Anyway, it's interesting. I like that. Anyway, um, I just clicked that away. Uh, here it says, Mark Bradford turned a bloody war battle into art that will haunt and entrance you. Uh, here it says, abstract artists will often say that although their work isn't representational or illusionistic, it nonetheless offers a picture of the world. That's, yes, <laughs> that's true. Um, and here's talking about the battle there, uh, about the Southern General whose name becomes synonymous with the military disaster. Uh, there again goes into the history and the stuff behind the Civil War controlled opposition that's what it's talking about you know questioning everything and, and I think he says it see it says he says Bradford isn't interested in the drama of the war but rather in how the narrative of that drama has been transmitted <clears throat> for more than 150 years there you go that's the message there get people to, to think why they keep drilling this stuff into our heads it's not like with most things it's it, they allow us, they, they, like we've said, they tell us what they want us to know. That's what the point is to this, me saying, showing this and stuff. It's, they don't want you to know both sides were controlled and stuff. They don't want you to question anything about any of this stuff, like the Civil War. And he, he, like he had said, it's, it's been 150 years, um, the narrative, the drama there, I mean, go back look in history like I've done videos about and it's the same stuff, same, not exactly, but same narrative being pushed, you know, um, there, anyway, I just thought that was really interesting, there, uh, heard, and here's about him, uh, lives in L.A., And stuff. That's, anyway, that's true. God damn it. Anyway, that. A truly rich man is one whose children run into his arms even when his hands are empty. Or a woman, you know, anybody that has children there. Uh, really cute. Um, here's some of his stuff. There. I posted one earlier. It's 
computer here. My scroll thingy is broken on my mouse. Ooh. Okay. I really like that. Let's see. Oh, that was really good. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, art with the message. That's what I always say. Uh, you see my message. <laughs> And I speak the message to, and everybody should have what they can. Anyway, and that's how he's doing it there too. Uh, lots of uh, lots of people do it. Uh, more the better. So um, and here we'll go on. There. Let's see. Here we go. I skipped. There. Art is my weapon. Yeah. There you go. I love that. Uh, anyway, here we go, uh, graffiti as art, that's, you know, the art with the message, uh, god damn it, Er fuck, anyway, it's not just graffiti, it's with the message, art with the message, not all graffiti is pointless some of it I mean I've seen some around here that was kind of pointless but anyway I'll leave these late this stuff you can look at and here how do artists communicate their messages this is a sequel to their last blog this person <coughs> on pianists creating sounds and images and pure emotions from their instrument that's what art is it's pure emotion coming from the instrument whether it be piano a paintbrush a pen a marker a pencil whatever medium you use um it says i have been pondering the value of all the arts in the process of creative expression in different media clearly there are tremendous similarities of creative thought processes that are expressed in the plastic arts of music visual art dance theater literature and film uh it strikes them that each artistic expression in any medium is an attempt to bring the audience to a different perspective of viewing life through the vehicle of the subject at hand. Generally, the artist is expressing both intellectual and emotional concepts that are often restricted by the spoken or written word by moving us into another world. Yes, that's what I've been trying to say here. All that this person just said here. Uh, so thank you, person. Eben dude. Anyway. I'll leave links to this, so it's really good there, uh, from this uh website here. And, and talks about the creative process and how you, how a musical composer creates a musical phrase to elicit a spe specific emotional reaction. You don't want you to just hear it or see it, they want you to feel it. Artists, that is, you know what I'm saying. I've said it a lot, and they've said it, and lots of people said it. <laughs> anyway, and this here, some of them are, are with the message that's positive. Some of it's, you know, like with some art, it's pushing an agenda. The couple of them, that I like this one. And that's, you know, obviously pushing the global warming scam there uh, when it's normal cycle. Uh, and here, I like this too. That's awesome. That's what these rich people are doing. These corporations are sucking the earth dry and us along with it. Trying to, anyway. And locked up animals. They don't belong in cages. And neither do we. It's what these houses are. Cages keep us in doors and you can look at it from that respect too. Uh, there should be a person there too. Anyway. There used to be a park there. Now it's a parking lot. Uh, there's 
yeah, they're pushing the global warming. I like this with the that too. And this, yeah, like I said, it's pushing the global warming shit. But like I said, there's some of them that are really good. Like, I really like that. And that's, that's sad. You know, there used to be a park there. And that, <laughs> that's awesome. Anyway, uh, that's the message. It's always the message. Anyway, um, so I'll see y'all later doing the thing with the little one. With my youngest. Stop calling her the little one. Anyway, that's hard to do. But, uh, she's excited about it. But I'll see y'all later. I hope y'all had a great day. Or having a great day, evening, morning, whatever. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Okay, um, take care everybody, and peace and much love to you. See you later. Mm.